bro. The left one. Yo, it's all over the place. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to IFTV. We're back, there Daily we Transfer News. Everybody's been asking us for the Daily Transfer News, which we did last year, last summer, every yeah, single day, every weekday, we were awesome. out with a new video. It took a lot out of us, but we're starting right now. Make sure you keep us in track. We're gonna start out, we're gonna try different formats. You know, last year we were on the stools and we did some different stuff. So we'll try this out. You guys let us know how you like it. Um, biggest news. So today, Gianluca DiMarcio says that Perin has signed um, Perin, um, wait, what? Juve has signed Perin 12 million plus 3 million in bonuses, a four year contract worth 2.5 million a season, and his medicals are expected to be on Friday. So let me say how this, this is gonna work. I'm gonna state all the biggest news, then Michael's gonna comment on what he thinks so that this can move quickly and we'll move along, and then you guys jump in in the comments. Alisson um, Firmino today said, Yes, Alisson asked me about Liverpool. I hope he comes but I know that he has other offers. A lot of different sources were saying that um, Roma want 100 million if Alisson were to leave. Cristante is another one who's going towards a done deal for Roma. He arrived in Fiumicino today, Roma's airport. He will have his medicals tomorrow, Thursday, in case you're watching another day. Um, the deal is a 30 million total deal, broken down as a 5 million euro loan, obligation to buy at 50 million, and then 10 million in bonuses. So total of 30 million and Roma are getting a new midfielder. Speaking about midfields for Roma, it's likely that Raja, I mean, not likely, but it's possible that one of Raja Nainguan or Struman are gonna be leaving Roma this summer. Struman is wanted by Marseille and Raja is wanted by Inter, which we know we saw Peter before. Peter was going crazy <laughs> from our podcast and um, he has offers from China. We. We have to see if um, anyone will sign him or if any of them will leave, but those are the rumors. Cancelo, we know that he's not joining Inter. He's gone back to Valencia. He's been linked with a move to Wolverhampton, which his agent is pushing for. Juventus are interested in signing him, and Cancelo doesn't want to accept Wolverhampton because he wants a bigger team. Juve are ready to offer a loan with obligation to buy, but apparently Valencia are tough to negotiate with. They want 40 million for the right back. So we'll see what happens with that one. Um, last two news, Chiesa, Gazetta are saying that Juve and Napoli have offered 50 million plus a few players for Federico Chiesa. Inter are also in the mix and they're willing to go up to 55 to 60 million, but they have to place the offer next month because of all the FFP issues. And um, yeah, Fiorentina apparently will sell for 60 million. So a lot of offers on the table. And final news, Jorginho, Manchester City are raising their offer for Napoli's midfielder who looks likely to leave Naples this summer. They might add this guy, Zinchenko in the deal. If you guys know from last year, I always mispronounce all these names. <laughs> Um, his agent is in England and he said that something will be confirmed this week and they're talking about a deal being at 55 million euros. Michael, okay. tell us what you think. There's a lot of stuff going on. I want to talk about Chiesa for a second. I don't think he's ready yet. I, I feel like once they, someone gets an inch of potential, immediately they go for him. Let him play one more season. He had a pretty good season, whatever. Nothing spectacular. 60 million? Oh, dude, he shouldn't even be a quarter of that. Come on, let's be for real. You think he's worth to leave Fiorentina? The one thing I will say is Federico Chiesa really impressed me with the Azzurri. Uh, the, thing that I like, no, no. the thing that I liked about him, I liked that he wasn't scared to attack the ball. There was finally oh, someone with, with a little bit of anger who's not scared to dribble his man and take a shot on goal, which I like, but continue. What's your next Wait, thing? Wait, uh, but I'm no, just no, saying. No, 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 no. I agree with you. I okay, agree you agree with me. Okay, yeah. uh, I want to talk to uh, about Perin to... Um, are you scared a I little bit? It. Are you scared I though? I love it. There's upsides, but not scared downside. at all. What do you mean? Know, my, scared. My boy Petty's scared made of what? Out of glass. I'm not paying anything. I know, but <laughs> but you don't think. I think it's an incredible, incredible. No, no, it's a good deal. Twelve million but, for one of the best but keepers. But look, but look at the downside. Keepers. It's incredible. You guys are gonna be left with Chesney. He's gonna get injured on the first training session Chesney. or something. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Um, who else? Yo, Allison better not leave. I, I don't. I'm confident that he's gonna stay. To be honest, so I have nothing to worry about that. And uh, Nainggolan, I'd rather prefer... Jorginho, comment on Jorginho. We know Nainggolan's not, not very uh, close. Jorginho, I I'm a little nervous. At first, I felt like he was leaving for sure, and now Ancelotti came in the mix, so he's kind of like, dude, should I stay, should I go? So it could be anything. But he man, he has so much money. He fits their system. So dude, can, I wouldn't be surprised 
it's but going. I hope he stays. It's happening. That one's happening. Also, guys, there's a lot of other news here on IFTV. If you're new or if you just never heard us talk about it, for our transfer news, we only use the best sources. Um, of course, these guys are not 100% right. Of course, just because they say there's interest does not mean it's happening. And at the transfer, uh, once a summer Mercato opens, anyone will try to get you to click into any articles. Be careful of your sources. If you need to fact check something, send it to us. We'll let you know which yeah, some, of the best, um, some of the best some of the best sources are because things can get tricky and there's a lot of BS going around there. So we stick to just trying to get the best ones. And yeah, let us know if you like this format. If you do, we'll stick to this. We'll try to. We went a little bit long today, but we'll try to get that them around. That was fun. That was the first one. But let us know in the comments yeah. everything how you want to continue all these news and what's going on. All right. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Follow us across all of our social media if you are not already. And we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao guys. Ragazzi.